Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I will be walking you through another note-taking app which is simpler than GoodNotes but better than the Apple Notes. And this is Nebo. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Nebo is compatible with Mac OS 11 or later and a Mac Apple M1 chip and iPad OS 13 or later. For these Apple OS, the Note app is free but with in-app purchases. It's also available in Windows 10 or later for $9.99 and Android 6 or later for $11.42. Your notes can only be viewed on iPhones via Nebo Viewer, which is an app that gives read-only access to your notes on your iPhone. Search for a library, copy and paste content into other apps, and even export pages. The device and OS I'll be using for this walkthrough is the iPad 9th Gen iOS 15. Nebo is free in the App Store but with the following in-app purchases. When you open the app, you'll be seeing this welcome note and tutorial notes. Now let's go to the settings. You can make a MyScript account to be able to sync to iCloud or G Drive. You can enable your active pen and choose your writing position, whether you're right or left-handed. Next is the writing setting. You can adjust the size of your writing and test it here. You can also choose your preferred language from the 6 to 6 languages available. This conversion preview will show you how the converted text of your handwriting will look like. Then we have the dictionary setting which is helpful for words unavailable in the dictionary books like medical terms for example. By the way, this is a Korean word for love. In the math setting, you can enable the auto answer for your math equations. To be able to sync all your notes to iCloud or Google Drive, you need to sign in to your MyScript account and you can also back up your notes. To create a new notebook, just tap the plus icon on top. You can then choose the color of your notebook, name, folder, and language. Unfortunately, there's no option for your paper style, templates, paper orientation, paper size, and color. For your main folder or collection, just add a name to create. In the notebook, you can add a page, a freeform page, and a PDF document. You can also search, edit, and delete them. Now let's first add a page. The lined paper is the default and only paper style in Nebo. The first icon on the toolbar is the keyboard icon for your type written texts. However, I don't see any options for font, font styles, and size. Next is the pen tool. There are three types of pen the felt, fountain, and brush pen. Each consists of six stroke thickness, which you can test right away in the space provided. There are a bunch of colors to choose from the color wheel for both the pen and the highlighter tool. You can also adjust the saturation and the brightness of the colors. You can at the same time delete colors you dislike. There's no eyedropper tool, but for me, it's not a problem at all. Next is the highlighter tool. There's no straight line option, but it automatically straightens when you highlight. The highlight is behind the text, so the selection is clear and readable. It also merges the same highlight color, which I dislike, especially at times when I don't need them to be merged. The good thing though is when you want to change the color, just highlight the ones you want to change and it won't overlap. 
You can also divide the highlight by color and to remove the highlight, just strike through again. If you love drawing or playing around highlighters, you won't be able to have fun with this one. It doesn't allow you to write over your text or even write with the highlighter alone. Next is the eraser tool. You can erase per stroke or in precision, but there's no option to erase just the text or highlight alone. There are a total of six different sizes for the eraser. The Lasso tool is one of the useful tools when it comes to note apps. In Nebo, I can't for some reason move my selected text around my page. It only highlights the selection. However, you can cut, copy, delete, make it bold, or highlight it instead. Up here are the undo and the redo icons. The plus icon is where you can take photos from camera. Adjust the size, cut, copy and paste, and delete the image. You can't, however, drag the images from the internet or from your gallery. Same options when adding an image from your gallery. The texts, diagrams, sketches, images, and math equations are separated in sections or blocks, which I think is a bit space-consuming because it doesn't allow you to write near the blocks or put images near each other. You can add sketches too, but this doesn't convert your handwriting to text. Since it's separated per section or block, you can resize and move it around your page. Adding diagram is also a good feature of this app. You can draw diagrams with any basic shapes and convert to a type text and perfect shapes by double tapping with one finger. You can adjust the shapes and lines too. Nebo diagrams can also be pasted or imported into PowerPoint slides as image. You can tap the three dots here for the contextual menu. The math equation section is another highlight of Nebo. It can solve simple problems for you. Double tap with one finger to convert calculations and it will display the answers for each equation. Just remember to put an equal sign at the end. Select the section again and tap the three dots for more options. Now let's move on with the gestures in Nebo. Here you can make use of the pen tool for all the gestures. First is the erase. Simply strike through or scratch out contents you don't need. It can be handwritten or typewritten words, calculations, or diagrams. Next are the break and join gestures. First is the break. Draw a vertical straight line downward to split a word, sentence, or paragraph. And to join them together, just do the opposite, which is drawing a vertical straight line upward. This is very helpful if you misspelled words. You can just break and insert the letter. Double tap gesture is using one finger and double tapping a handwritten word to convert it to type text. Then we have the underline gesture. For the handwritten text, underline wants to change the color of your selection. For the typewritten text, underline wants to make a subheading and twice to make a heading. And lastly, the highlighter gesture. Draw a circle or box around words or contents you want to highlight, and draw again to remove the highlight. No auto-perfect shapes in Nebo, unfortunately.
Now let's try the free form page. You can add a free form section in your page, but to best enjoy this is to go to the free form page itself. You can zoom in up to 200% and you can use the infinite canvas for handwriting and sketching. The default style is in grid or squared paper. You can, however, add diagrams and math equations here, but you can add images from camera or gallery and resize them. There are no sections or blocks in the freeform page, which is awesome. And good thing that the lasso tool here can move your selection anywhere on your page, plus you can write using the highlighter tool. The freeform page in Nebo has a similar vibe of Microsoft's OneNote because of the infinite canvas. You can also select a certain content using the lasso tool and copy-paste it on the other pages of your notes. However, there is no write-to-text conversion and the gestures don't work, but I still like the freeform page. In addition, you can also overlap different colors of your highlighter here. Inserting a PDF document is also possible in Nebo. You can annotate, draw on it, and highlight words. But the auto straight line and gestures doesn't work on PDF. The highlight is kind of on top of the text, but not to the point that it's unreadable. When writing on pages, there are reminders or restrictions that pops up. These are the ones in blue at the top of the page. These are kind of annoying since it doesn't allow me to write freely. It automatically erased the ones I wrote which doesn't follow the reminders like try writing smaller or please write further from the nearby objects. I hope Nebo removes these restrictions. Also, when handwriting text, there's a preview on top of what your writing will look like when converted to type texts, but you can turn the conversion preview in the settings. Nebo recognizes your list and convert it accordingly. You can also choose the type from the paragraph mark or pilcro. To add a section, you can either tap and hold on an empty space and click add section, or draw a horizontal line from right to left with a pen tool. You can also mix a handwriting and a typewritten text in one sentence or paragraph. When you tap the three dots up here, there are options to convert all the texts except your sketches and freeform sections. You also have an option to clear all your contents. And to export your notes, you'll be choosing a format, whether text, PDF, Word, and Nebo file, and edit the file name. You can choose where to export your files. You can also create a link, but there's a need to log in to your MyScript account. On the homepage of Nebo, you have an option to edit, export, and delete your notebook and collection. You can also organize them by color. You can move the notebook to the other collection, but not the collection itself. The notebooks are also organized alphabetically. The pages, freeform page, and PDF can be duplicated, renamed, exported, and deleted. 
However, once deleted, you won't be able to restore the deleted notes since there's no trash bin. You can search both handwritten and typewritten words from your notebook within your pages and PDF documents. If you love to plan and write on digital planners, this is not for you because Nebo doesn't work on hyperlinks. But if you're okay with that, you can still write on digital planners just minus the hyperlinks. Nebo is also compatible with an external keyboard like this one. This is the RK61 mechanical keyboard. So overall, Nebo is a decent note app which can be very useful for students, teachers, and generally for everyone. It's a free note app for Apple users so you can check it out. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Peace.